Astorio. A warning from the judge. That's how the second day of the Michael Astorga sentencing hearing began. News 13's Alex Tomlin was in the Santa Fe courtroom. The judge closed the courtroom this morning. We don't know what he said to attorneys, but we do know when he let everyone back in, he told spectators not to interact with jurors in this case. With that issue resolved, prosecutors put a BCSO deputy on the stand next. That deputy was working with James McGrain Jr. that night in 2006 when McGrain was shot and killed by Michael Astorga into Harris. He told jurors about rushing to the scene after McGrain wouldn't answer his radio. Yeah, we had uh, Debbie McGrain's shirt off. They had his vest off, his protective vest off. Um, and they said they performed CPR at that time when I, when I showed up. The deputy said he pulled a defibrillator out of his patrol car and tried to restart McGrain's heart several times, even after the machine indicated the lawman was dead. At that time, I was just trying to do anything I can for my, my partner who was down. You could still see the pain on the deputy's face recounting that night. So Prosecutors and defense attorneys role played while reading transcripts from several other witnesses I'm from Astorga's trial in 2010. Witnesses the prosecution said are hard to get back here to testify again. An OMI doctor finished testimony today showing the jury graphic autopsy photos of McGrain's wounds. Even though Astorga has already been found guilty of murdering McGrain, prosecutors still have to make their case again to this jury so that they can decide life or death. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. The sentencing hearing is expected to take about a month. The McGrain family does want the death penalty.